Nice to see you again. Hope you are all doing fine. Uh, as uh, Ndimbo mentioned, today's press meeting is about uh, the last round of the, this uh, World Cup qualification round. And uh, as you could see on the fixture, uh, before the last two games, Tie for Stars is number one. And I think we are all very happy about that. It's also a big surprise, I suppose, when we remember uh, the opponent we are uh, competing against, who are all on a high ranking in, at the FIFA. But anyway, we are number one, and we are happy about that. Uh, and that is our position before the last two games, the home game against DRC Congo and away against Madagascar. You could also see on the fixture that Taifa Stars so far is the most scoring team. And special for me, it makes me happy as coach that we are the most scoring team because a part of our philosophy is we need to score to win. Because in football, if you don't score, you don't win. I think you could see that yesterday's game and you can see that in so many games. So I'm very happy that we have managed to score uh, a good number of goals and that's also one of the reasons that we are leading the group. At the sam same time, it's also very important that you can defend. And I think we saw that in our last game against uh, Benin. We scored an early goal and then we, I think we played very smart and very disciplined and we got a very strong result away in, in West Africa. As I mentioned, we are coming to the last, uh, the last round. It's the final and most important part of our World Cup journey. When it comes to the selection, as usual, there have been the criteria about we have the data of all the players, we are observing the players, uh, how they, they perform, and there are, not, there are some few changes in the squad compared with the last time. Uh, last time when we were together, there were some players who were injured, like Capomba and Erasto, they were injured. They are now no more injured, so they will be back. We also had uh, M. Samiro, who was out due to two yellow cards. He was suspended. He will also uh, be back. And then there will be one uh, new player in the, in the squad, because I think there is one player in the Premier League who is doing very good for his uh, team. He's a very experienced player. I even remember him from last time uh, when I was here. Because uh, at that time, he was enjoying his football. What I see now, it looks like he even become a bit more professional that he really wants to get the last out of his career because he's, he had passed the 30. So uh, Chombo, or also called Redondo, will, uh, will be for this camp because he has been a very creative and a very important player for Biashara uh, United. But let's take a look at the whole uh, selection, which will, will be of 27 players, three goalkeepers and 24 outfield players. So the goalkeeper are, like last time, Aishi Manula, uh, Matacha Nata, and uh, Ramahani Kabwili. For defenders, Somari Kapomba, Israel Wenda, Kiwana Somari, Dixon Job, Bakari Nondo, Kennedy Duma, Erasto Nioni, Lusatio, Mwaikenda, Mohamed Hussein, Nixon Kibabache, Edward Manyama. For the midfielder, we have Novatus Dismas, M. Samiro, Savadi Peter Mauya, Faisal Saloum, Idi Nado, Mechak, Abdul Sulaiman, and then becomes also midfield strikers, strike force, Mbwana Samata, John Boko, Simon Msuva, Relian Lusatio, Kibo Dennis, and as I mentioned, Ramahani Jumbo. So that is the 27 player who are selected for this two games. 
and the camp will start on the 4th because on the 3rd, that is the last round of uh, uh, in the Premier League. I think Simba is playing against uh, Namungo and then we report to camp on the 4th and then we can do our training 5th, 6th, 7, 8, 9, 10 and then we are playing on the 11 at 4 p.m. at National Stadium. I really hope that when we play home that spectators will be allowed at the stadium. Uh, I know there is still some discussion between uh, the TFF, CAF slash FIFA, but I really hope that as many spectators as possible will be allowed to come to Mkapa Stadium to support Taifa Stars. And when I say support, I really feel, hope that the spectators will support the team, will support the players all the way. In football, it can go up and down. In a game, you can lead, you can get behind. But we really need this support from our spectators in such a crucial match we are playing here uh, at home against DRC Congo. So uh, let's hope the best that the spectators will be allowed to be there uh, uh, to support us all the way. I think that was all for today. And then I'll open up for questions. Feel free, any question, we will try to do our best. And when I say we, we have uh, Ivo, the goalkeeper coach, and Shadrach, the assistant coach, to support me as well. Asante San. Actually, I, in, from my point of view, I think we have performed very well at home because we beat Madagascar 3-2 uh, at home. And I still believe that our performance against Benin was a very good performance. Sometimes in football, you need what we say a little bit of luck to also win the game. I, I, couldn't, I could only tell the players after the Benin game at home that they had performed well. And I told them, in the moment you go to Benin and perform at the same level, you will get something out of the game because you will not be that unlucky for two games. We went to Benin and we performed at the same level. This time we got the result. So I think we have been surprisingly strong away and we have also been strong at home. We had one win. I know we lost the game, but you also have to look behind the result to see how was the performance. It was good. And that made me have a strong belief that the players will be on fire and really want to go out and do a top performance against DRC in our last home game. <coughs> Something to give uh, to the national team because he's a good, uh, a good striker. Sometimes when a striker, but not only a striker, when a player moves from one club to another club, then you will see a reaction after some time. When I saw Kibo Dennis uh, play here in the last game, I'm happy to see that he is there, he get the chances. And you know, a striker, sometimes they have a few games where he did, he, he's not scoring. I wouldn't be surprised if he scored against DRC Congo because he has something to give to the team. I have great confidence in uh, Kipo Dennis, not only for this game, but also for the future because he is on a growing pathway. He has made a move from one club to, to a bigger club, maybe you can say, and now he is growing and he will do that with national team. And if you remember back when we put him in in our first friendly game against Malawi, he played very well at that moment. So. Wait and see, he will do well. Thank you.